Hey there. Today I will show you how to do a TDC hop-up mod on your VSR-10. TDC stands for Top Dead Center. So this modification gives you an easy external hop-up adjustment on the top of your outer barrel, centered over the hop-up arm. It's most beneficial with an Action Army hop-up chamber. Reason being, if you want to adjust the Action Army hop-up, you need to remove the mag, rack the bolt back, get your Allen key out, insert it into the mag well, make your adjustment, put the mag back in, rack it forward, test it. It's a pain in the ass. A TDC mod will fix all of that. Now you can adjust it like this. A TDC mod may also improve accuracy with a stock hop-up chamber. It will provide a constant, even pressure that the stock hop-up components are not always capable of. I'm going to show you how to do a TDC with a scope turret. A nut and screw works, but this way is fancier with sturdier clicks. Let's get started with what you need. It may seem like a lot of supplies, but just bear with me. Certain things come in handy. So grab a cheap scope. You want the adjustment caps to be plastic. I'll explain why you want plastic caps later in this video. Black and silver sharpies are great. Scissors and scrap cardboard. A ruler and metric allen key set. A small pocket screwdriver, make sure it's a flat head, with some pliers. JB weld with some q-tips. Painter's tape and black spray paint. Heat gun. Drill. Drill bits. Grinder wheel. Metal tube that has an outer diameter around 30 millimeter. I'll also explain this later. And a center punch helps. There's a few links in the description. I may have forgotten some small items, but if I did, they should be easily obtainable household supplies. Screenshot this if you need to before we begin. Before you disassemble your rifle, you want to make a top dead center reference mark. Use a silver sharpie or something easy to see. Make a mark on top of the outer barrel, right in front of the scope rail like this, nice and centered. You can also put the end of a ruler against the scope rail and make a longer line if you wish. Either way, this mark will help us out later on. Let's get started. Grab your cheap scope and remove one of the adjuster caps. Once again, try and get plastic caps. I'll explain why shortly. Then take some pliers and remove the entire turret assembly. Sometimes, there is a snap ring here. Remove it, you don't need it. Then spin the adjuster wheel out of the turret base. Be careful you don't lose the small clip pin and spring. These are the main parts you need from the scope. The adjuster cap, turret base, and the adjuster wheel with click pin. Next up, disassemble your rifle and remove all components from the outer barrel. We are going to make another important mark, so pay attention. Take some scrap cardboard and mark it to the chamber window length. Then cut it so you have a template strip that fits snug into the window like this. Now take a ruler and measure half an inch from this end and mark it. Hold the barrel in this direction and put your mark template in like this. Where that line meets the top inside of the barrel is where you want to make another mark. This is where we need to drill a hole so the adjuster can push down on the Action Army hop arm. Make sure when you look straight at the hop window, the mark is centered. Alright, now let's drill a hole in our mark. A center punch really helps assure that you start drilling where you put the drill bit. If you don't have a center punch, try and keep a steady hand. You want the hole to be the size of the turret base threads or slightly bigger. So get a drill bit that's close to that size as I'm doing here. When drilling, it's usually best to drill a hole smaller and then step up. Well, I'm just going to put the big bit in I need and let her eat. Drill your hole and then look at it from the outside. Does it look like it's in line with your reference mark? Mine does not, so I'm going to ream it out some more. It's okay if you make the hole a little bigger than planned. As long as everything's centered and lined up with the reference mark, we can move on. Next up, we want to modify the adjuster cap so it conforms with the curve of the outer barrel. 
Take a grinder wheel and shave the top cover area off like this. Then take your metal tube close to 30mm in diameter and heat it up so it's really hot. A heat gun works, but you can also use a propane torch for faster results. This is why you want a plastic cap. Once the metal tube is nice and toasty, take either end of your modified cap and press it against the tube. Press evenly and carefully so it melts the cap around the curve of the barrel. Don't press it down too far, you still need to make use of the cap threads. If you're dumb like me, you'll burn your hand. Holy fucking shit, that's hot! Don't do that, it really hurt. Press and melt the cap evenly. Shortly after it melts, pick off the excess plastic. Set the modified cap over your TDC hole and look down the barrel as well as from the side. Make sure the cap is sitting level. Use the reference mark from the beginning. If you have aluminum caps, you can shape them with a Dremel, but I prefer this method with the plastic caps. You can make minor adjustments or do this whole process with sandpaper as well. Once your modified cap is sitting level and centered on your outer barrel, we can move on. Real quick, let's take a look at the Action Army hop-up chamber. Since a TDC is a new external adjustment, I like to remove the old internal adjuster pieces. Thread the adjuster screw out until the small threaded block comes off. Flip the hop arm up, don't lose the spring or nub. There's a small C-clip right here that can be removed with a small pocket screwdriver. Take the C-clip out and the stock adjustment grub screw will fall out. Here are the three parts you don't need. Removing these parts are not required. I only do it so there is absolutely no chance of interference with the new TDC adjustment. Just one more thing before we continue. Make sure that the TDC turret shaft will fit into your hop-up chamber window. If the turret shaft is too wide, it won't be able to push down on your hop arm. Once you verify that, it's on to the next step. Now it's time to mount our TDC base to the outer barrel. But first, let's just make sure our hole lines up with the hop-up arm. Slide your hop-up chamber into the outer barrel and fasten the mag block down. Your Action Army hop-up arm should be centered in the TDC hole like this. We made it this far, let's keep going. Just take the hop-up chamber back out real quick. Put JB Weld from each of the tubes onto some junk cardboard. I like to use Q-tip halves to mix and apply it. My mom got me these really nice left-handed shears. They work great. Thanks mom, I love you. Anyway, mix up your JB Weld and start applying it to the cap. Set the cap in place and put more around the edges where it meets the barrel. You can wipe the excess JB Weld off with some Q-tips or small pieces of paper towel. Clean it up so it looks nice. Then nudge the cap around gently so it's in place. Center it over the hole, make it look level, in line with your reference mark, all of that. When it looks good, set it somewhere stable so it can cure. It's best to let it sit overnight, so just take a nap, or you might as well just go to sleep. 24 hours later. Wake up! The JB Weld is dry. Hopefully everything was centered and level. Now it's time for some paint. Block off the cap threads with a piece of paper towel or something. Tape off a small section around the JB Welded cap. Using some painter's tape and newspaper, you can cover up the surrounding portion of the outer barrel. This will prevent overspray. Pick a safe place with good ventilation and just add a thin layer of paint. You don't have to paint a Picasso or anything, just simply paint over the JB Weld. Once the paint is dry, remove all of the tape and newspaper from your barrel. Take out the material over the TDC hole as well. Grab your turret base and thread it into the cap. Be gentle and don't over tighten this piece so you could break the cap off the barrel. Once you have it snug, check and make sure nothing is protruding inside of the barrel. You don't want anything sticking down into the barrel or you will encounter problems during inner barrel and hop-up installation. Try sliding your hop-up chamber into the outer barrel. If your chamber gets stuck on the turret base edge right here, it's an easy fix. Just screw the turret base back out and put some sort of washer in first. Once that is all set, you can actually install your inner barrel and hop-up chamber. Slide everything in place and put the mag block on. Once again, you should see the hop arm centered on the TDC hole like this. 
All you really need to do is install the turret and assemble your rifle. Make sure your turret click pin and spring are present and screw the turret into the base. With good lighting in the background, look down the barrel and make sure the hop up is being applied while you're screwing the turret down. You'll see the bucking contact patch being pressed down. That's it, you're all done. You can now assemble your rifle completely, but I will show you one last modification. You can make a neat hop up adjuster knob with a bottle cap. Some scope turrets have a little knob on them and others are flat. It just so happens that the majority of scope turrets sit perfectly into the little seal circle in a bottle cap. So just mark your turret in two spots. Make sure you mark it here and not in line with the click pin. Drill your two holes in the scope turret. Then match and drill two holes in the bottle cap. All you need is small tapping screws and possibly some washers. Screw the bottle cap in place and your knob is finished. I hope this video was helpful. You can email me if you have any questions or you want to send me your outer barrel for a TDC mod. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.